Hey guys, Brian here with Be Free Productions. Now today, I'm coming at you with a very quick tip for Studio One. Now this is how to get um, an alternative to expression maps inside of Studio One. Now expression maps are a feature of Cubase Pro and they're a very good and helpful feature. Now there isn't an official feature for this inside of Studio One and some of you may already know this but we're gonna go into the drum mode editor to do this. So what we're essentially doing is labeling our key switches with um, a label. So it's a visual thing where you can instantly reference what articulation you want. So we're gonna hit here in the wrench and go into edit mode. Now I'm going to do this for Spitfire Symphonic Strings which have all these key switches here. Um, the big thing for this is that different libraries have different key switches and it's very hard to remember them all and exactly which one does what and you're constantly fumbling at the very bottom of your piano roll and clicking around and sometimes just guessing which one does which and replaying it until you get the right one. So we're going to go in here and all I'm going to do is label them right down the line. Alright, so it's as easy as that. Everything's labeled. Now how do you save this? Make sure you are still in edit mode. So hit the wrench or you just make sure you're still in that mode. Click right here and store as a preset. Now label it whatever you want. Now in the future you can just click here and load it up. Now you can also just save this as a template and it will always be like that but it's also you know you can save for any instrument that you need. Now we're gonna just you know draw something into into our piano roll Now normally you'd have to go down here and again remember which key switch is which. Now in a drum mode, boom. Everything is nicely labeled out and down here it will always be a little bit extra when you already type out the melody because that's what's playing. Now again like I said it just labels those articulations easily so that you can uh, very easily access them like this. And you can just take one, slide it up or down delete them all and just like that it's a very easy and very helpful tool to know because studio one is one hell of a doll and that's one thing that it's missing this is actually a bit easier than doing it in cubase because you only type it once save it as a preset and you're good to go so there it is a quick tip hack workaround whatever the hell you want to call it for expression maps or articulation management inside of Studio One. Make sure you like, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.